All right, we are back. This is uh, for all the aspiring car slam commercial editors out there. I know who you are. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya. You you wanna you wanna make those really annoying car car guy spots, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I unfortunately specialize in those. Uh, okay, let's uh, get started. This is what we're gonna build right here. Just imagine seeing that on the air, some dude screaming in your face, all sorts of sound effects, this big loud thing. What do you do? You mute it or you change the channel. So let's get started on building this. So what we're going to first do, bring in some footage. We're going to put one piece of footage onto the timeline. And then we have another piece. This is just something I got from Getty. Just that. This little doohickey fun stuff. Okay, just like some noise candy stuff. And we're just going to kind of stretch these on out and make them longer than what we need them to be, just in case we need to retime things in a revision one day. Okay, so let's go ahead and select both of these. Right-click, choose New Fusion Comp. There we go. We'll open that in Fusion. And there we go. That's it. And that's the uh, and that's the whole tutorial. Oh no! Wait. Oh wait. Okay. We got we got a bunch more. And let's just see which is which. Okay. There's our footage. So I want to actually rearrange these. We're gonna have our footage down here, and then this on top, just so I can kind of have that visual of this is my top layered element. So we're gonna click on the merge. Let's go ahead and choose screen, and then this is our footage. Let's go ahead and put a little color corrector on him. Slam up the saturation, bring down the contrast a little bit, bring down the gain. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger for you guys, just so you can see my node structure. How's that? Isn't that lovely? Bring the lift down a little bit. Bring that gamma up. Uh, bring Yeah, let's just leave the brightness alone. Next thing we're going to do is comp in a background. I want the background to be on top of my video, but underneath this little eye candy piece here. So let's go ahead and do that. This is just my preset that I have. This is just a, a little gradient with a blue, dark blue on top, lighter blue on the bottom. That's fine. We're going to choose that merge and let's go to multiply. There we go. So there, now we have that. So now if we, what we do is if we just kind of choose the blend, we're going to be flicking that on and off. And let's just kind of adjust this a little bit more so it's a little bit darker. Okay. Then the next thing we need to do is create the text. So the text effect is going to be this. We're going to have this text. Let's just say slam car spot. Awesome. Make that big because, you know, it has to be big and obnoxious. There we go. We could go ahead and right click and choose character styling. And what I would normally do is just kind of square this all up. But for the sake of just trying to get through this nice and quick, we won't do that. Let's go ahead and leave that like that. This next step is very important. You'd want to get your, your text laid out the way you want it. So if you want to square it up, square it up. If you want it to be just one line, one line it, you want to get it locked in. Because what we're going to do now is duplicate this node. So control C, control V. Is there a hotkey for duplicate, like control D? I don't, I don't know. Leave a comment if, if you know that. I haven't figured that one out yet. Okay, so this is going to be the top, bottom, something like that. We're going to click on shading, turn off the shading of one, go to number two, turn that on. There, there's our outline. We're going to turn that outline, make it white. Let's go ahead and make the thickness 0 0.01. And there we go. So if I then disconnect this, we have an outline. Okay. So now let's go back to this one. We're going to right click and choose our follower. Go into modifier. Choose the delay to be 0.5. And let's do this. Let's do like 
random from one to one. Yeah, let's do that. Choose that. We're gonna go on into the shading. Now let's go to the beginning here and click animate on the on the opacity. Animate on one, then we're gonna go one frame. So I'm just using my right key, my right arrow key, right and left arrow keys go one frame at a time. You can see right here, one, 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 one. And then we're gonna make this a zero. There we go. So if we come on over here, you can see them kind of all going out. Now we're just gonna go do that cheat like glitch kind of effect. This is how it's kind of done. Bink. Go here, we're just going to drop in a bunch of keyframes. There we go, so now we have a couple of them and it's just starting to kind of go back and around and all over the place. Go here, bink and bink, just doing a few of these, bink and bink, and then zero on that, one frame, gamma, go my frame. And one, and then there, and go here and zero. Okay, now we got quite a few little keyframes kind of going. You can see that they're just. Let's play this through. Do 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 do. Perfect. Got a nice little cycle going on. But of course, like right here, it's just gonna get to the point and stop animating. Support me today by listening to my music via the links below. So let's remedy that. Go to your spline. We're gonna do Control F. That frames everything, do a control A, and then we're gonna do a cycle. Looks like we got kind of a little glitch right here. Let's go ahead and make this one zero. And then that fixes that little glitch that was there. So if I put this back at one, you can see how this is animating. And then at this point where it starts looping, it's gonna glitch out. So we're just gonna put that to zero, so it just takes away that glitch. So now if we play this through, do 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 do. Okay, yeah, that looks good. It's kind of, that, that's kind of bothering me. I would go through and fix that and stuff if we we're uh, going down another road. How about we just delete that? I don't like that there. Now, if we kind of look at our example here, it's tweaking out and stuff. We kind of have this little blue thing to, turning on and off and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, what else we got there? Yeah, it's just kind of glitching and stuff. Okay. So we'll jump back in here. So our merge for our color, let's go ahead and turn the blend all the way down. Put in a keyframe there. Go one frame and all the way up. Go a couple keyframes down and all the way down. There we go. And all the way up. Got a few there. And all the way down. Okay, so we got kind of that. Okay, cool. And now let's go ahead and we're going to merge these two together. We don't want them to treat them like like one entity. We're going to do a nice little camera shake effect. Uh, how about this one? So there, it's kind of moving around and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. That's what we want. We might want a little bit more, so I'm gonna increase the speed or something. There we go, okay. And you can go on through here and kind of manipulate things, like if you want a little bit more rotation and ampli amplitude and, and, and whatnot. Mm, how about like a little bit more pan? There we go. Yeah, that kind of shakes it around a little bit more. That's cool. And let's go ahead and copy this. This is our background. Let's go ahead and paste it onto there. And we're just gonna tweak this around a little bit. Slam that on all the way up, bring the tilt, do that, just kind of change the parameters a little bit. So now it's shifting around also, creating the chaos. Okay. And now the last piece that we need to do is just put on a transform node at the end. We're going to change this to wrap. And we're just gonna do a couple little animations for it also. So right here, we're gonna drop a keyframe on the centers and shift it on up and down. There we go. See, that's what the wrap is doing. 
this little wrap thing. You can have it on just canvas and it doesn't do that. Wrap kind of mirrors it on over. There's also mirror that truly mirrors it. Um, for this instance, I, I like the look and feel of wrap. So we're gonna do that. So right there, and then how about like a quick little glitch back down. So keyframe and, but let's go back a frame. Let's see here, do, 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 glitches. It shifts on over. At this point, it's gonna jump up real quick. At this point, it's gonna jump back down to how about like a 0.90, there we go. And then at this point, we're just gonna have it all kind of settle back in. So 0.5 and a one. There we go, so it gets it all back in. So this is what we got. It goes dink, 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 dink. And then, you know, a nice little kind of a transition-y type of a thing. Let's go ahead and go settings, motion blur, rack that up to, you know, three or four, whatever. Rack this up to there. Doesn't really matter. Does that have to be precise right there? At this point, so we're at 107 frames. Let's go back to 97, so we have a 10 frame transition. We are going to center that animation point on center, bring that on up, and what we're gonna do is have that just kind of wig on down. Let's see how these are looking. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so that's what we got. Cool little slam car spot type of an animation and stuff. Oh, yay. So in this, what I visualize is that is kind of transitioning Bink into the next graph, next section of the car spot. That's what we got today for you. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment. 